بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد تعالى في كتابه الكريم وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me letting us know our divine purpose as a Muslim is to worship Allah سبحانه وتعالى alone and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ يَلَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمْرُ لَا تَسْجِدُوا لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ وَاسْجُدُوا لِلَّهِ الَّذِي خَلَقَهُنَّ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem and from his signs is the day and the night and the sun and the moon do not prostrate to the sun nor prostrate to the moon prostrate to Allah the, who, uh, the one who created them if it is him you truly worship so there is a lesson for the mu'min and we take it for granted a lot of times we think that that's easy knowledge oh I know enough Tawheed I've studied Tawheed but when you th travel the earth and right now I'm in Tanzania on the Indian Ocean looking at the vast and beautiful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you'll find all kind of things that the believers have fallen into and that the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has fallen astray and a lot of it, it comes from a lack of knowledge from moving away from ilm moving away from ilm, ilm fi deen, fiqh fi deen and we ask Allah the Almighty to rectify our situation in the situation of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam